It's lunchtime, and Mrs. Gibson's class rushes to the cafeteria to get lunch and find a seat with friends. Martha and Nyla decide to sit together. Nyla, we're so much alike. I like how you dress, and you're fun to hang out with. Oh, um, hi, Martha. Nyla, I usually sit next to Martha. Well, today, Nyla is sitting here. Oh, well, um, can I sit on the other side of you? Uh, no, I don't think we should be friends anymore. We're not the same. Tears begin to fill Maria's eyes. She quickly walks away to look for another place to sit. The school counselor, Mr. Lyons, notices that she is upset and waves her over. Maria, what's going on? Are you having trouble finding a seat today? I usually sit next to my best friend, Martha, but now she doesn't want to be friends anymore. She gave my seat to Nyla. I'm sorry you're sad, Maria. Something similar happened to Destiny last week, so I bet she can sympathize with you. Let's go talk to her. Maria begins to calm down as Mr. Lyons walks her over to sit with Destiny. Hey, Destiny. Hi, Mr. Lyons. Do you remember how you were having a hard time with some of your classmates last week? Yeah. Maria is having a similar problem. Would it be okay if she sat with you today? Oh, um, okay, sure. We don't talk much in class, but that's fine. Thanks. I'll check back in a few minutes. Maria sits down next to Destiny, and they start talking about what happened. Sounds like what happened to you happened to me last week. Some kids were mean to me, and it really hurts when that happens. Hey, girls. Were you able to check in with one another? Maria, did Destiny share some helpful advice? Yeah. She was really nice. She understood me. Thank you so much, Destiny. I knew if Maria talked to you, she would feel better. Now, besides heart-focused breathing, here's another suggestion. When you can, talk to the person who upset you. Share with them how they made you feel. Sometimes sharing with people without blaming them helps create a new, fresh start. Thanks, Thanks Mr. Lyons. Lyons. We better go now. Bye.